Cars get ready to embark on their qualifying runs. This is the kind of track that eats rear tyres for breakfast, or so I'm told by more experienced drivers than myself. No matter how good a driver is at managing their throttle application to limit rear slip, they can't always overcome a car that's inherently bad at looking after its rear tyres. Here we have a lot of low-speed corner exits, which means a whole load of energy, heat and tyre wear. As we wind down from the excitement of qualifying, here's a look at your top three. Rosberg, Ricardo, and Lewis Hamilton. With qualifying complete, all that remains is the main event. We'll be live and uninterrupted for the Grand Prix tomorrow, so make sure you join us then. Here we go again then for another round of Grand Prix action. The conditions are just right to spice up the racing in this part of the world today and we're all itching to get underway. Built on the shores of the Black Sea, the Sochi Autodrome is a 3.6 mile tour around some of the venues built for the 2014 Winter Olympic Games. Close barriers may make overtakes more challenging, but with 56% of the lap taken absolutely flat out, 
we certainly won't be wanting for pure speed. A fitting arena then to do battle at the pinnacle of motorsport. I'm joined again today by none other than Anthony Davidson. Tell me, Ants, obviously there's a lot of development work that goes on with these cars between the races. You've been both a test driver and a race driver. What differences are there in the way you approach those roles? Interesting question, Crofty. They're two very different mindsets. I mean, when I tested... So before the off, let's remind ourselves of yesterday's qualifying session with a look at the start. Put the clutch in. Hold it there till the start. So, another fantastic victory for the Silver Arrows. And I have to wonder, Anthony Davidson, just what set them apart from the competition here? Well, I think the track conditions just really suited their car today. Wind, track temperature, you name it. These cars come alive when the tyres are just at the right temperature. So the more easily... 